Yes, my king. Morgana. All right. You've chased the treacherous Nimue across Britannia, fought dragons and bargained with whomever you had to, but you're finally within arm's reach of finding Merlin. However, your trials aren't over yet. You know from Nimue that this mountain was once home to a mad wizard who left behind magical defenses, making the place dangerous to explore. That won't stop you, but you decide to leave your men behind this time. Fair enough. Let's start. After all the trials and horrors of late, the tranquil peace of the mountain is almost unnerving. A soft breeze is sighing among the trees, a nearby stream gurgles happily. The road ascends at a steady rate, but soon ends at the edge of a deep chasm. It's too quiet. The chasm is wide, and there is no obvious way across. However, you sense faint magic and also notice a glinting object on a weathered, mossy stone beside the road. When you investigate, it turns out to be an hourglass, which seems rather odd. It does seem odd. I'd better examine this closer. The hourglass is obviously very old but it's in remarkably good shape. The reddish sand inside seems dry and radiates subtle magic, and there are a few genetic runes carved into the wooden casing. However, none of this tells you why the hourglass is here. I will turn it over. You turn over the hourglass, and the sand faintly sparkles up, but nothing else happens. You wait until the sand runs down just to be sure, but it turns out to be a waste of time. Then you remind yourself that this was put here by a mad wizard. Perhaps it's just a trick. Let's go back to the edge of the chasm with the hourglass. The chasm is wide, and there is no obvious way across. The road seems to continue on the other side, but first you have to get there somehow. I will find out if the chasm is real. You throw a stone into the chasm and find out that it is there indeed. But the stone bounces off something before falling down. A few more stones reveal that there seems to be an invisible bridge ahead. But it must have been built by a lunatic because it meanders unpredictably. Well, the fog will outline the edges the idea seems to work, and you slowly make your way across the bridge. However, the fog also limits your vision, and you fail to notice when the bridge abruptly ends only meters away from the other side. You lose your balance and fall into the chasm. Oh, for God's sake. Fortunately, you land on an outcrop, and though the landing is painful, you survive the fall. When you climb to your feet and look around, you see that you are still quite high up, but the road is beyond your reach. Your only choice is a cave that opens from the outcrop, so you walk in. That was a bit of a delay, so you walk in. The cave isn't any less mysterious than its surroundings. The walls are illuminated by glowing moss and tiny motes of green light float in the air. A side path forks off inside the cavity. It's dark, smells rather putrid, and it drones with deep, ominous noises from time to time. It's curious. Let's investigate. You summon a ball of light and walk into the darkness. The smell gets worse as you go along, but you soon glimpse daylight ahead. Finally, you reach an underground chamber littered with bones. You're about to step inside when you suddenly hear a spine-chilling shriek. Yes, I'll make Morgana out to be the most cowardly of cowards. No, she'll carefully peek inside the chamber. This must have been the den of some large predator, but it's clearly not around anymore. 
The noise originates from the entrance, and it's merely the wind playing tricks. Interestingly though, there are faded runes on the walls and some hefty, rusty chains on the ground. Yeah, let's fight the nausea and search. You hesitatingly poke around in the dirt and rotted remains, and curse silently when a sharp bone fragment cuts your hand. Finally, you find a silver collar which is carved with runes and obviously radiates magic. You decide to examine it later, put it away, and walk outside. Let's continue. You reach a deep valley with a tower built into the side of a rocky cliff. This is the place you know from Nimu. Your master is imprisoned here. You carefully open the gate, but it seems you are past the magical defenses. Nothing obstructs your way as you move inside. It's too easy. There's going to be a catch. You found the lair of the ancient wizard who once lived here. There are inscribed stone slabs and other structures of unknown purpose all around you. More importantly, you finally lay eyes on Merlin himself, sitting in a majestic throne in the center, turned into stone. Break the spell that imprisons my master. The stone shape of the mighty wizard shudders and throws off a shower of splinters as he transforms back to flesh and blood. He opens his eyes and casts a long gaze at you before he speaks. So the time has come then, he says. I can finally get on with my plan. Well, it's good to see you too, Master. Forgive me, child. I have been preparing for this moment a very long time. And it was the first thing that came into my mind. But I am grateful to you, even if your saving me was not entirely your own doing. You plan this? How? The Lady of the Lake has shown me the chaos that would one day come so I made plans to ensure it wasn't the end of Britannia. And now I'm free to execute those plans, in the hope of restoring balance to the world. You knew this cataclysm would happen. Why didn't you do something to prevent it? Why didn't you warn people? The cataclysm was a machination of fate, and meddling with fate is always futile. Attempting it only makes things worse. I learned that long ago. Some things are just part of a grand design, and all we can do is accept them. But the rest is up to us, so we must act now. What is your plan? I've prepared a magical ritual in the Welsh mountains that will help to turn the tide against the Formorians, and buy me enough time to carry out the second part of my plan. You shall accompany me. Your youthful power will be rather helpful. Yeah, what about the great dragons in Wales? Do you have a plan to deal with them? The mention of the dragons in Wales casts a shadow over Merlin's face, and he demands an explanation. You tell him all about the return of the dragons, and this is obviously something he didn't expect to hear. He rushes to a magical apparatus and hastily casts a spell. When he turns back to you, his voice is urgent. Morgana, listen to me. You must return to Arthur and give him a message. Tell him he cannot be cured as long as there is a single nether gate open in Britannia. He's one with the land, so the land must be cured first. Wasn't that the premise of a tabletop RPG at one point? Hmm. Let's continue. You must also stay by his side and assist him in the task. I shall go to Wales, 
Perhaps I can still salvage parts of my plan if I act fast enough. I shall do my best, Master. May the gods watch over us. With that, Merlin disappears in a patch of light. You make your way back to your troops, thinking about the instructions he gave you, wondering what further twists of fate await you. There's only one thing you're certain of. The conclusion of this tale is drawing near. I have fulfilled my promise, heir of Pendragon. Merlin is free at last. It didn't exactly turn out to be the way I planned, but in all honesty, I am surprised that he even bothered to give us a piece of advice before he vanished to wherever he wanted to go. Merlin wants you to know that your father's wound cannot be cured so long as there is a single nether gate open in Britannia. He is one with the land, and the land must be cured before he can recover. You must close all of the gates. Fair enough. I did everything you asked of me, Sir William. And now imagine how it pains me to admit that now I am the one in need of help. The journey I took through the Fading Tower was a one-way path, and now my way to the south is obstructed by the Antonine Wall. This crumbling fortification has been home for centuries to eerie creatures that rule this abandoned land between the north and Cumbria. I need someone to extract this giant, rotten tooth so that I can return to the south. Lovely. New diplomacy available. Pit, uh, the picks of Nimaway. Nope. Uh, I mean, I could get some more wogs. That could be useful. I will do some border patrols with uh, Alba. Although the kingdom of Alba is protected by the holy power of the legendary white shield of Joseph of Arimathea, the artifact cannot by itself protect the lands that the knights have seized from the Formorians. They require warriors whom they can send out to patrol the new borders. Fair do. Uh... Bugger it. Uh... Yeah, bugger it. I still need... Well, I can't have an alliance because of... You know, there was borderline no point in me doing that. It just cost me... I'll grab some more walks. Although your alliance with Nimue theoretically granted you the support of the Picts, these savages have no intention of joining your ranks. They are, however, willing to sell you their wild, bloodthirsty wargs. There we go. Yay, I got more wargs. Which can't actually do anything right now. Morgana can't... Yes, my leash. Uh... I'll bugger it. On my way. Do it. And auto battle. Treatment. <laughs> yeah, no. Black companions. Hello, have I just... Oh, I've gone up in the scale again. Silver companions. Right, so Seneschal Elite is still better. But they're even better. I 
think for Lancelot, I will go with the Wasteland Champions. Close. I've still got a bunch of heroes that I can't do anything with. William! Yes, my lord. On my way. Come on, Prince William. On my way. Medium artifact. I have a... Major. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Do that one. So I need to take on this Pillock, who has an average strength to army. So that should be easy enough. Oh, that means I could theoretically take this guy on now. With his very weak army. Yes, my liege. Cannot be or I cannot occupy Wales at the moment. So right now, my immediate priority Yes, my liege is getting my land back. Oh wow, I didn't lose anyone. That makes me feel really, really good. Uh, okay, so William. Ready to serve. I need you to continue your way to. On my way. Oh, hello. Morgana, you leveled up. You have one skill point. Make that two skill points. Do I want to use another skill point? No. I'm actually inclined to think, yes, spell weaving could be useful, because, but get another skill point, next time she levels up, I can get a, the next rank of chain lightning. Or I could grab curse of shadows and then grab voice of shadows, which would make these two more potent. I'll leave you that be for now. Got three skill points. I will grab Winds of the North. Mana. Level up. Sir Percival leveled up. Let's get more fireball for you. And mana. Defense. Accuracy. Accuracy. Defense, 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 defense. Actually, while you're there, new skill for the Iron Guard Elite. They will be even more defensive. Oh God damn it, William! One more level, just so I can get that. Because I want to summon a worm right in the midst of their archers. You're s having it saved. Sensitive to magic. I mean, I'd like to swap out the Talon Folk for a dragon. Ooh. Research complete. Uh, bugger it. Grab. 
diplomacy. London is home to one of the few universities of Britannia, where they teach the art. Hedge Knights, uh, two more turns before I can get the trade. London is the last safe haven in a vast wasteland. Lancelot, where are you? More damage for you. No, didn't mean to do that. Continue with the diplomacy. The Kingdom of Elmet has a very effective army owing to their strict training methods. You could trust their veterans. Arcane education. That was. There are adepts among the Shi. No. Who mortals would call wizards. The Shi Council would like to examine the shards of the Grail. They hope that they might solve the mystery. The Shi Council has been the most secretive of all the keepers of arcane secrets. However, now they are. Mm, on William, no, let's do it with you. Close. Power of the Grail. The Shi Council would like to examine the shards of the Grail. They hope that they. Can't get you because you're a fair way away. Bugger. You need more battles. Ooh, my reputation is up. Could have sworn you were the one for the secrets of Wales. Exploration. Although magic has left Bettergrain Forest. The twisted woods of Penguin still hide abandoned settlements of the Shi. Irresistible lore to adventurous souls who would risk all to possess the treasures of their former keepers. Penguin has begun to form a proper army. One which relies heavily upon veterans of the fierce struggles that followed the cataclysm. This suggests the idea that you might take advantage of the good relations between your two kingdoms and organize a joint military exercise for both armies. You could surely benefit from the skills of their famous archers. Yeah, I could have sworn... A trade agreement. Oh no, it was this guy. Ah! How do I get my reputation up? <laughs> Required tier level... Oh! Bugger you. How do I get my tier level up with you? There are new quarries in the hills of Poets that provide cheap stones as building materials. According to tradition, warriors in King Daffid's army are judged by their skills alone, never by their birth. Such a tradition breeds tough veterans. There we go. And it would be wise to train. Ah, uh, should have been doing that more often to get the. <sighs> Enter. Ha ha. Right. Lance. Ready to serve. Uh do I want to do that on you or do I want to go? King Lot. King Lot. The nameless lord. I don't want to go to war on my with way. the nameless lord right now. Oh, buggerations. William. Ready to serve. Auto battle. Godly great sword. I like the name of that. And that was a lot of gold. So if I... Ha <sighs> ha. So, if I... Oh, mate. Yes. 
my liege. No. Yes, yes my, my lord. No, I want the bloody... There we go. Ready to serve. So if I put you there... Oh, come on. I want a dragon. Leadership, nine. How much does a dragon cost me? Leadership, 20. Okay, so for the moment, let's keep... One of these days I'll get that without... What? Oh, don't muck me around. Leadership. I am being messed around. Ooh, Welsh Revenants. You were in my army just a moment ago. Right, Ready William. Ignore! The idea of doing that, just... Close. Oh, hello. I see you. On my way. That is now mine again. We start going up On this way. way. Lancelot. Yes, my liege. On my way. Yes. <laughs> yes, my lord. On my way. William. Yes, my liege. On my way. Oh, hello, King Alwick. Yeah, you're not gonna win this one. Oh, look, Sir Balan leveled up. And I have all these blimmin' ladies to give to people. <laughs> Just. Wow, that didn't come out as condescending at all. Uh, just unit damage. Actually, if I give you... Dislike of archers... Extra spell power to you... Ready to serve. Wow, thanks. Uh, shrewd. That could be useful. I mean, practical. Good teacher. An extra skill point. That could be convenient. I mean, it's a very short term thing, but extra spell power. Never injured during quest or battle. I don't think I have to worry about that with you. Or maybe I do. Okay. Uh, miraculous. Ready to serve. Con lots of construction completes. You have free spell weaving, extra mana, lightning strike. Yeah, let's max that out. Probably the wrong choice, but it's my choice. Defense, 
Defense. Defense, defense. Defense, defense. Defense. For Mori Slayers. For Mori Slayers. Accuracy. Accuracy. Defense. Just give me all the defense. Hey, you leveled up. Shield disruption. Do it. Defense. Defense. Oh my god, all the defense. Still not leveled up. There we go. End turn. Cannot be occupied at this moment. On my way. The shard of the shattered Holy Grail. And oh my god, it has to be a legendary artifact. Yeah, unknown consequences is the bit I don't like. Ah, uh, fine. Let's do that. I can probably find a very weak army to muck up. Legendary artifact. Well, it's a legendary component, it works. That gives me all of that back. I now look for this pillock. Where did you come from? Thank you. That sorts out my magic shield. There was an idiot down here. There he is. I would very much like to sort out the idiot. So I can't... Occupy... King Galahad's territory. Or I can. Although shouldn't I be allies with him? Trade agreement. London is the final refuge in the south. No wonder that even this huge stronghold now over. Military training. King Cole has a very powerful army. He commands great strategists and experienced soldiers. This suggests the idea that you might take advantage of the good relations between your two kingdoms and organize a joint military expedition. There are adepts among the Shi, who mortals would call wizards. Trade agreements. There are new quarries in the hills of Poet that provide cheap stones as building materials. If you began trade talks to negotiate a long-term agreement for building supplies, it could be very useful for your relationship with the province. The Shi Council has been the most secretive of all the keepers of arcane secrets. Need six turns for that. The Master Bowmakers of Sherwood fled to Pengwern to escape Sir Maddox's revolt. As a result, the archers of the army of Pengwern have achieved a fearful reputation. If you could reach it. Haha. -ha. Yes. Hello. I don't like you. I think you're a bit of an ass. Ugh. 
uh, Lancelot, you might as well start heading for Masala because somebody is a bit of On a jackass way. down here. I need to take on this guy. Level up. Yay, level up. Oh, come on, I want leadership. Uh, cancel for the moment. I oh, got that. If I'd noticed that armies had a specific leadership value required, I would have been a bit more, you know, discerning about grabbing it. You're still... Oh... Uh, manner. Is there any leadership... Any artifacts that give me leadership? Oh, uh, yeah, I think I screwed myself over. <laughs> What a shock, eh? Ah, you don't have an amulet. This is most frustrating. Accuracy. Accuracy. No, defense. So, leadership value 10, 7. This unit can't participate in battles. I mean, shield disruption. Let's just be a nuisance to them. Yeah, so long as they're in battle, that's costing them shield. I could have sworn I had another amulet somewhere. Plus 20. Oh, I need another bit of the set, though. William, nearest castle is not that one, obviously. On my way. On my way. And Lancelot. Grab me my territory back. On my way. Got one. On my way. On on my on my oh, way. Oh come on. On my way. Right now, start heading back to this place. On my way. William. King. On my way. Uh, let's put the talent folk there. Put you there. Your okay. So I've got thirteen leadership right now. That. Oh, what takes twenty? Ah. Okay, I can get around this. I can do this. Right now. I'll put you there. I'm 
Uh, this sort of, I mean, I mean, I suppose Springborn being given to Morgana would be a good idea. Ooh, another Iron Guard Elite. Right, now, I can recruit a dragon, who, coupled with my gargoyle, will be my flying power house. Now I need... Uh, what do I need? I need two light infantries. I will make do with a pair of... Hardwood elites? Deepwood Hunter elites. Less HP, but more... No, less damage, more HP. Sealy archers, I really, really want more of them, but... Wow, their leadership value is quite the thing as well. Ooh, bang on. General. Okay, so Bedegrain, Severus. I need to sort out fiefdoms for everybody. I think that's a problem that I'm not sorting. Do I need a champion of... I suppose I'll keep the champion of Camelot for the time being. Military advancement. Cavalry. Dark Avengers. That's what I'm at right now. Black Companions. I have a big army waiting for Morgana once she gets back to civilization, for lack of a better term. But that's. well. Ah. Uh, oh, it's been an experience, this long bout of sessions. Time to go to the wall and bring Morgana back. We are on the final chapter, more or less. Wounds of the land. Can. Because I cannot occupy at this moment. Although. Ew. It's big. It's hideous. I need to go to. Oh, wow. Merlin owns all of it. <laughs> um. Okay. Merlin's army. Merlin is just casually strolling around Wales. We need uh, Queen Morgaus, Morgus, whatever you go by in the pronunciation. This land cannot... Missing character, I notice. I mean, it's not too bad. We all get by. <laughs> Got my small alliances. Can I? Did I not? Oh, I can actually talk to you. Yeah, I can actually talk to the Sentinels. For every main hero. I need another main hero. <laughs> I need five of them in order to get that. Yes, my liege. Ready to serve. Uh. So you can just stroll right. along. Oh, the Roman vaults. Well, that's it for this session. <laughs> we are nearly there. We are nearly at the end game. Hmm. We, I imagine soon we will be taking Wales. Ooh, another blimmin... Ready to Morgana's. Serve. She has good leadership as well. 
needs more. Lancelot? Yes, my liege. Lancelot doesn't have very good leadership. That's interesting. I think... I've got ideas. I'm going to need to go to Cornwall to sort out the Knight of... Uh, the Mouth of the Knight. <laughs> Average army strength. Yes, I am going to win. And yet, I'm still not maxed out on the <laughs> old faith. Huh. I'm winning. That's all I can say. Until next time, farewell.